Hi guys, it's Jimmy here, and I just want to show you a quick thing of my collection here, a quick video of my collection here, that is. It's in the majority of my collection of knives. I'm not going to get into the pellet guns, or the guns, or the rifles, or whatever, but just knives, really. It, a lot of them are at my mom's, or somewhere else, so. But I'm going to start off at this side. And this isn't a knife, but these are, um, batons, like, things. They block your arm from anything from a knife to a blocking thing for fighting. And they got this punch, and then you can swing it around and stuff. It comes in a pair. It's like what police carry, but I have two of them, so haha. -ha. And, um, these came in a set. They're not that good at all. Um, I don't have a camera stand, so I have to do with everything with one hand, or two, one hand on the phone and one hand doing this. Yeah, it's not that good. I got it for like $15 instead of three and had a stand with it and everything. Um, let's go with this one. This I like a lot. It has a case and a sheath. Most of these knives have sheaths, but um, this one does, but the sheath's kind of messed up. I like it. It's double-edged, I think. Yeah, it's double-edged. Um, my dad gave it to me a while ago. Well, a very long time ago. It's got nails for teeth. It's pretty cool. It's like a display piece, but I have a problem with using display pieces constantly. And this... This is just your common old beat-up knife. It unscrews, and there's compass, and uh, matches inside the handle of this. It's, it's pretty common with those types of knives. Very common. Here's just a little crappy knife I got for free. It's, I don't even want to get into it. It's, so, it's not even worth looking at, really. Here's this knife. Not much to look at. It's made in China, like almost all my knives, except a couple got a release in the back, which I like. And this knife, which is pretty cool. I like it, but I have better. Um, just press that button down right there, and then pull the handle up, and it turns to a sword, and then find the button, press the button down, push it down, turns back into a, um, a smaller sword or dagger, or whatever you want to call it. And this, it's, it used to be okay knife, but now it's a horrible knife because the handle broke. You just press the button and it flings open. It's under two inches, so it's legal where I live. I live in California, if you're wondering. Northern California. And here, it's this. It's a K-Bar. I like this knife a lot. I don't have a sheath for it, though. And sheaths are like $50 for this type of knife. It's got a window breaker in the back. This knife is really, really made really well doesn't rat tail on the end or anything and here is my vicious attack dog named BB yeah and then <laughs> I travel a lot so a lot of these knives are from different countries for the instance this knife is from Germany I got this when I was 10 two years ago when I or was it 10 I think it was 10 I was in fourth grade um yeah so two years ago and it's kind of it went f all the way from China, it's where it's manufactured, then went to Germany, and then went to America. So, it, this knife has traveled a lot. Uh, yeah, I like this knife. It's just for display. You know, put the sh case over there. Um, let me see here. Oh, these are just novelty throwing knives. I just got them because they were throwing knives, and I thought they were cool at the time. But then I realized that they don't—they're not good throwing knives. You know, a couple dollars. I had a couple dollars to spend, so I spent it. This is from Costa Rica. I like I said, I travel a lot. It says Costa Rica on the back. It has a clay handle. Not much to it. It's just a little toothpick knife thing. I like this knife. It's re this one, for instance, is snap-on.
It's made in China, like everything else, but it's, I like it. it it's a tough knife. I, I've had this knife for a long time, and the handle, or the blade's not loose. It's just a nice little knife to keep in your pocket. And I'll put that right there, yeah. And these three knives are all um, folding knives. I got them in a set of four. I gave one as a gift to my cousin. And she doesn't ever use it, so, you know, whatever. But, um, this is a knockoff Swiss Army knife. Not much to that. Oh, and most of these knives are for sale. If you could hit me up on the comments if you want any, you know, whatever. This knife is okay. It, not really. I probably won't sell this one because I've stabbed myself with this one, so it has sentimental value. You could put it that way. In the hand, I have a scar on my hand. I don't, this hand. You can't really see it, but... Yeah. Don't play with knives when you're eight years old. Um, and the handle's really loose on this one, but... This is a machete that I could care less about. Um, this one's definitely going to be for sale. Comes with a sheath. The sheath gets caught on the teeth every time you pull it out. That's the only part I don't like about it. It's flexible machete. I like that sometimes, but other times I just want a thick machete that won't break on me or anything. But being having flexibility is good sometimes, too. I mean, it needs to have the right balance, you know, of flexibility. And this is a Humvee knife. comes in a sheath with two pockets in it, and they both have knives in them, which I like. Uh, the, the, this one I will not be selling, but the handle, the, the sheath broke on it. So, uh, it's not just because of that, I just like it. I got it for super cheap at a, at a, um, auction, or not an auction, a flea market. And I just, it's a, it's a knife I wear when I go out in the city or in the woods or whenever, wherever I go. Now this knife is my baby. I will never sell this one as long as I live. And, um, I don't think anybody's really supposed to have them in California, but I didn't do much research into it. U.S. 1918 Brass Knuckles Knife. This knife was used. There's dents in the blade before I got it, but I kind of straightened all the nicks out. But this knife was used. Well. But I like it. It's, it's durably made. It's never went loose or anything on the handle. Really nice. Can flip them up like this. Got a window breaker. I just like the knife. Oh shit! I almost cut my freaking foot off. Sam, um, being stupid with knives. This knife is up for sale. It's just, I don't know if you can read that, but it's kind of worn. US MK2 or USN MK2. I got it at an auction. After the auction ended. They didn't sell this one, so I gave them an offer, and they said, sure, take it. And I like it. It doesn't have a handle, but that's an easy fix. Duct tape, or if you can, wood. You can make a wood handle. And let me see here. Second. Where did I put it? Uh, you don't need to see that. Whatever, but, um, there's a couple things I wish I could show you, but I didn't know where I put them. Whatever, but, um, this is my last piece I want to show you today. It's an axe I got at Home Depot for an 8-pound axe. It's kind of heavy for 8 pounds. It feels heavier than it is, for sure. It's got the blacksmith mark and everything. And I picked off the sticker on it. It's an axe. I mean, there's not much to it. Sacks. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I just found what I wanted to show you. Um, right here. Right here is an old axe I found by the American River. I live in Sacramento area. And I made this holster when I was a couple years ago. And I'm kind of embarrassed of it, but whatever. Um, 
it's got a bullet latch that latches onto this thing and it closes all the way properly so I don't use it for anything I just made it just because I could and I had some spare leather left over okay well thank you guys for watching it's Jimmy and um, hopefully I'll be coming soon with the new Gamo um, Fusion Elite Pellet Rifle um, just shooting it and show you guys how far a reach I shot a balloon from 150 feet with the damn thing it was awesome Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you watched it to the end. And I hope you subscribe and like and follow or whatever you want to do. If you don't, it's fine. Thank you guys for watching. It's Jimmy, and goodbye.